Hi everybody and welcome. I'm Coach Carolyn, Let Better Certified Instructor and former professional tour player. And today we're going to talk about how we can actually shallow the club efficiently in the downswing. This is a key move that all the professional players on the tour do really well. There really isn't any tour player that gets steeper at the start of their downswing. And that exact move is what we're going to discuss today. And it's going to make a world of a difference to your swing. So let's jump right into it. All right, so before we jump straight into how to shallow the downswing, I want to make sure that you guys understand what it means to shallow versus to steepen. So I'm going to demonstrate this for you guys now. So first of all, this shallowing will start at the start of your downswing, right after the top position of the swing. So in order to explain what shallow and what steep means in the downswing, we're going to start at the top position. So we're going to go back here to the top and we're going to actually look at what happens right at the beginning of the downswing, right here. So what I'm referring to when I say steepen is that the club starts to point down. The butt end of the grip starts to point down into the ground. This is what I mean when I say it steepens. And when I refer to it shallowing at the start of the downswing, I am actually referring to it shallowing this way. So shallowing really means in an extreme case that the club becomes more horizontal and more parallel to the ground, which that's obviously too shallow, but just in an exaggerated way, whenever the club head gets closer to the ground, it says it's shallows. And whenever the club head gets further away from the ground, the butt end of the grip points into the ground, it steepens. So what we're trying to achieve with this lesson is to explain to you why it's important to shallow the club efficiently at the start of the downswing and how that actually affects the rest of your swing and most importantly, your ball contact. All right. So I have three different feels that I want you guys to focus on and rotate through and see which one sticks best because every golfer is different. I've had many coaches over the years, many great coaches over the years, and everybody says things a little differently. And you know, I've had coaches that said to me, do this, and I'm just like, I really cannot feel this. I really don't know where my club face is. I really cannot control that part of my body very well. And then another coach said the exact same thing to me, but in a different way. They made me focus on a different part of my body, which then really, resonated much better in my golf swing. And they were both right. They both were trying to get me to do the same exact thing, but I just couldn't feel one thing over the other. So that's why I'm a fan of giving you three different feels that you can try out and see which one resonates best because all of those three will help you shell the club more effectively at the start of your downswing. So the first feel that I want to talk to you about is actually your right shoulder and your right trap. So again, let's go back to the top of the backswing here. So top of the backswing, and now I want you to feel like that right shoulder really stays away from your right ear and drops down. And there's a lot of room between these two, because if you imagine if you were to engage your trap and pull your shoulder up simply by me pulling my shoulder up, see what it does to that shaft naturally. Like I'm not moving my hands. It steepens it. Right. And that really promotes the club coming down from out to in and having those weird, weak left to right shots that nobody wants to have. So, Again, top of the backswing, we're going to go up here and then we're going to feel like that right shoulder stays away from the ear in the downswing. And you see how that nicely drops my hands into position and keeps that club shallowing out. And then that allows you to actually come through from a nice little bit into out baby draw angle with your club face. And that's a great feel. I want you to understand that when I'm showing these things, I'm exaggerating as well, right? Because this this drill, these feels are for people that are getting steep in the downswing. So you really need to feel the opposite extreme for it to actually come into your golf swing. So again, top of the backswing, you're up here and you feel like your right shoulder is not coming up towards your ear, steepening shaft, especially on the down line angle. This is a good view. It's actually staying away and it's actually increasing the distance between your right ear and your right shoulder. And then you can shallow the club efficiently and swing through and hit that little beautiful baby drop. All right, feel number two that I want to speak to you about is your right elbow or your trail elbow. For me, it's the right one because I'm a righty. If you're lefty, it'd be your left elbow, but the trail elbow, whichever one this is, again, this feeling starts at the top of the backswing. So that's where we're going. Let's go to the top of the backswing here. And now I want you to feel like that right elbow comes down into your right pocket. Pocket's right down here, right? This is my pants pocket. I want you to feel like you're tucking it in there. You're tucking it in there because if you were to point that behind you again, see what happens to my shaft, it massively steepens. If just by changing the angle and where that right or trail elbow points right here. So we want to make sure that's tucked down into our actual pocket 
and you see how that allows us to keep the shaft nice and shallow and change that path much more into out, which we want to do. All right, feel number three that I want you to pay attention to, and this is much more a bigger muscle group. So it may well be easier to focus on the bigger muscles for some people, um, and it's your chest and your core. So again, top of the backswing is our kind of reference position where all these feels start. Let's go to the top of the backswing. And now you can see how my chest is actually pointing back and my back is to the target. So my chest is pointing back behind me and my back is pointing at the target. And we want to make sure that that remains as the hand's starting to drop down. And actually, Sergio Garcia always says he feels like he's pulling down on a chain. He's pulling down in the arms, pulling down a chain with his arms. And that's a really good reference, I think, because especially with the driver, you got to give your hands time to drop into the slot and then explode from there. So we want to make sure that that chest doesn't rotate as a first thing in the downswing, because a lot of people do that unknowingly. And what happens is they're back here and then they're out here and see how, again, this shaft steepened. And it's not that you did anything wrong with your actual hands, it's just your body rotation that puts you in that position. So we want to make sure that the correct body rotation is really almost not a whole lot at the beginning of the downswing with your chest. You want to keep that chest facing backwards and your, your back to the target and then you want to drop that club into the slot as your lower body starts to transition with your upper body being pretty passive in the start of the, back, in the, start of the downswing. So your upper body is pretty passive at the start of the downswing, really your hip is starting to move towards the target, your hands are starting to drop into the slot, nicely shallowing the shaft and then exploding from there and getting to your nice and balanced finish. So those are the three feels that will help you shallow that shaft at the start of the downswing and which are really going to help you cure these left to right shots, these slices, those thin weak right shots, all the ones that we don't want to see. So make sure next time you're on the range, you go through those three feels, see which one resonates most and really exaggerate those feels. This is the one mistake that I see amateurs make all the time is that they always want to make the correct swing right away. Like when some, something is explained to them and then they're like, oh yeah, let me do this correctly. Overdo it, completely overdo it. Take what your coach tells you, multiply it by 200%, do that, and then you will be a little closer in your real swing. You all know that the difference between feel and real in the golf swing is massive. So overdo it as much as you possibly can. It should feel ridiculous, then you're doing it close to correctly. So, or as my friend Helly Leppetter likes to say, embrace the suck. <laughs> but today we're just embracing the fact that feeling uncomfortable is normal. And that's especially something that amateurs really need to get comfortable with. Get comfortable with being uncomfortable in the golf swing. I will promise you, even for me, for all the tour players out there, they don't have very many days where they go out and they're like, oh yeah, my swing feels amazing. I can't do anything wrong today. It is completely normal. In fact, sometimes, or I would like to say most of the time, when my swing feels weird, I know I'm doing it right. And then I'm like, good, good. As long as it feels weird, I'm onto something. <laughs> and that's all of us guys. So. Go on the range, try out these three feelings. Let me know in the comments below which one you like best and which one you resonate best with. And if you like this video, subscribe to this channel and give it a thumbs up. And I'm really excited to see you guys in my next session. So make that downswing shallow and shallow it out. Make sure we fight those left to right misses and those slices. And I can't wait to have you guys join me in our next session.